let's talk strings for a second here. We've got this bass, which I use for all my death clock stuff. And it's tuned down a major third, the whole instrument. So it's C standard, okay? I personally feel that it would work, it works much better if you, if you took a set of standard strings, even if they were heavy gauge, and tuned them down a major third from where the tension was supposed to be, I think they'll be a little bit floppy. So what I do is I take a set of pro steels, okay, uh, but a five string set, and I take the low four strings, the B, E, A, D, and then tune them up a half step. So the gauges on this four string bass are 130, 105, 85, 65. So they're like telephone cables, which is like what they should be. That's metal, right? Okay. So, so this is this is the sound of, of, of this bass. So again, I'm going for a chime, and I'm using that rock technique that I was talking about before. I'm really trying to get the click, click, click on the top of that string. You know, I'm not playing like funk. You know. That's not what this bass is for. Although it doesn't sound bad when you do that. So always, always overdrive, except for those melodic breakdowns. So let's talk metal technique here for a second, okay? So you know we already talked about this, about you know following through the note. Then you've got your gallop, okay? Right, four, three, two. And the key with that, which has been around for a while, is you just want to make sure that they're all even. speed it up. Now, you know, like in Death Clock, you know, there's a song called Bloodline, which is a really, really fast gallop pattern that goes like this. So that's what would be an app, a more modern application of that technique. And you can see that I'm doing some muting stuff because I'm not, I'm not playing with a, a pick, so I can't, I can't palm mute, okay? So I'm using my left hand to mute. I just lay it right on top of the string. Now I'm tight with the guitars are gonna go instead of you know was, this sounds cooler. That's metal, okay? So you've got that, and then uh, there's this other technique that I developed because you know sometimes the guitars will be tremolo picking, and uh, you know, or or maybe if it's just a straight up thrash groove, and uh, and you know I couldn't play that fast. I was a kid. I loved metal when I was a kid. Uh, I used to play Metallica in my bedroom, right? And um, I wanted to learn how to play Master of Puppets. Not Master of Puppets, well the album Master of Puppets. I wanted to learn how to play Damage Incorporated. Right? But I can't play that fast. That Right? Okay? So I sat there and I was like, if I had to pick, what would I do? thing where I take my two fingers and I create a plane and put them perpendicular to the string and flick back and forth. Now, now I can do that, okay? So now I can do this. And then I got asked to be in a like Zappa Muso band and I didn't get to use that metal technique for 20 years. <laughs> I totally forgot that I even had it actually until Brendan asked me to be in Death Talk and he was like, oh yeah, I could do that thing. It was like, so exciting, 36 year old guy, yeah! <laughs> so, uh, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, and by the way, so Death Clock, I should explain this really fast. Death Clock is based on a television show called Metalocalypse, which is on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim programming. And the premise of the show is that there's a band called Death Clock, and they're a death metal band, and they're the most famous band in the world, more famous than like Madonna and Paul McCartney and the Beatles and Prince and the Jonas Brothers put together, okay? And the, the, uh, the world's economy rises and falls on their album sales. And, you know, because they're the most famous people in the world, they're all complete spoiled idiots who don't even know how to tie their shoes. Uh, but 
you know, they know how to play metal, and that's what they do. And of course, and so the creator of the show is a musician himself and a comedy writer. So all the like inside jokes are there. Like, of course, the band has two guitarists. One of them's great, the other one sucks, right? <laughs> you know, of course, the drummer's an alcoholic. Of course, the bass player like can barely play, and the guitarist records all the stuff for him. I know, I know, I know. But just, just go to the joke. And and there's all sorts of great, great inside music jokes if you watch this thing. It's such a great, great show. Uh, but the punchline of the show is that the music that this fake band makes is actually this really, really cool death metal that is written by this guy who went to Berkeley. And so what ended up happening was that the music from the show became legitimately popular in its own right, and now Death Clock tours like a band. And the cartoon characters are behind us while we play live. And it's me and Brendan and Mike Keneally on the other guitar of all people, and then Gene Hoagland from death and strapping on the lad and all these other great metal bands on drums a legendary metal drummer and it's just the most fun in the world to play <laughs> this music with with gene so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the uh theme to the show which is i you know this joke is it's kind of like the, the hey hey we're the monkeys of metal you know uh because it introduces each one of the guys in the band with 35 seconds long and it's the theme of the show so and, and here it is Thank <laughs> you. 